Hello everyone, my name is Sidious Monkey and welcome to another PlayStation 5 tutorial. This is a follow-up to my previous video where I show you how to live stream directly from your PS5. Today we'll see how to live stream via OBS on the PC without a capture card. Let's get started. First, you will need to create a second account on your PlayStation 5. To do so, press the PS button on your controller, go to your account and hit switch user. On the very left, select add user and get started. Agree to the license agreement and confirm. Here you can create a completely new account or sign into an existing one. I've already got one, so I will simply log into my second account, which is called Series Monkey YouTube. Using your second account, go to the settings menu, select system, scroll down to remote play, and be sure to enable remote play. Now let's head over to my PC. Here you want to download and install the PlayStation Remote Play app. Once that's done, launch the app and click Sign into PSN. A small window will pop up and you will have to enter the email address and password of your second account, the one that we've just created on the PlayStation 5. In the settings menu, you can see that we are connected to the second account. Also, check the Use Keyboard box, so we can use our PC keyboard to navigate through the PlayStation menu. Under Video Quality for Remote Play, choose the resolution and frame rate of your stream. Generally, the better your internet connection, the higher you can go. If everything is okay for you, select the PS5 and a small screen will pop up telling you that you need to enable Remote Play on your PlayStation. Since we've already done that, Click OK and your PC will start searching for your PS5 console. Once the connection is established, you can take your DualSense wireless controller, connect it to your main account and stream the content to your PC. Also, as you can see, my headset is connected to the PS5, but I'm still able to hear the PlayStation audio on my PC. Before we configure the stream on OBS, you may want to get rid of the Remote Play Connected notification on the top of the screen. There is actually a small workaround to do that. Simply go to the Settings menu, scroll down to System, and change the console language. Et voilà! If you wish, you can switch back to your preferred language. Now that we have the video from our PS5, let's open OBS. Once it's loaded up, press the plus icon, select Window Capture and create a new source. I'll call this one PS5 Gameplay. Now select the PS Remote Play window and we're done. Use the mouse cursor to adjust the size of the video or move it to any position you want. To add your microphone, same process, but select Audio Input Capture. I'll use an USB microphone, but you can also use the built-in mic of your computer, which is activated by default. Since I've added a new one, I'll tone down the default mic audio and hide it, to give my dashboard a cleaner look. If you can't hear the PS5 remote play or microphone audio, open the settings menu in the top left corner and under audio, make sure that all relevant devices are enabled. And finally, let's add a live cam. I'll show you two ways to add the camera to your stream without the need of an external USB webcam. The first way would be the webcam of your computer. Again. Press on the plus icon and select Video Capture Device. Adjust its title, press OK 
and choose the front or rear camera of your laptop. Use the mouse cursor to adjust the size and position of the window. To crop it, hold down the ALT key on your keyboard and drag your mouse in the direction you want to crop. The second way would be the camera of your smartphone. To do so, download an app called DroidCam on both your PC and smartphone. Next, open the app on both devices. On your PC, select how you want to connect to your smartphone, either Wi-Fi or USB. Usually I connect my smartphone over USB, so that it is charged at the same time. Once you've found it, press start and you should see the camera of your smartphone. To add this footage to OBS, press the plus icon, select video capture device again, adjust its title, press OK. On the device select Droid Cam Source. And same as before, adjust its size and position to your liking. As you can see, you may use both cameras at the same time, but note that the more elements you add to the stream, the more your computer has to work. Now that everything is set up, press Start Streaming in the bottom right corner, take a controller and play live. And that's about it for today. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you. For any question or suggestion, please refer to the comment section. Thank you for watching.